Hey guys, it's Brian, and today I got a cool little product that will help you keep your line and rods from tangling up, and it's the DD26 Reaper Keeper uh, Weight Management Clips. They're pretty awesome, so let's get going. Okay guys, before we go any further, let me tell you that I'm not affiliated whatsoever with DD26. Um, I think they got some awesome products. Heck, if this, I didn't think this was an awesome product, I would not be bringing it to you today because I'm just not like that. But I think this is such an awesome product, I had to let you guys know. Um, so if you've never checked out any of DD26's stuff, go to DD26Fishing.com, check out all their stuff. They got some cool stuff for the boat. Um, cool stuff for rods and all kinds all kinds of stuff maybe you can find something you really like and need so go check them out again not affiliated with them they just got some awesome stuff so go check them out so let's talk about why i think this is a cool product so these little clips right you get three in a pack um i believe that you order you can order them like in a pack of three so basically three in a pack and you get three packs uh and these are about five bucks it's five bucks a pack, $15 for three. And I know you're gonna say, man, that, that's kind of expensive for a stupid little clip. I, yeah, I can see why you say that, but let me tell you why it's not. Okay, I like the, to put these on my spinning rods, uh, my punch rods especially, my spinning rods and my soft plastic rods. And why do I do that? Because it t keeps me from taking the hook in and out of my soft plastics when I'm playing, when I'm running, you know, I, or I put down a rod or whatever, I pick up another one. Uh, just for example, a pack of, I want to say there's seven, seven or eight in a pack of right fuzzy beavers. A pack of right fuzzy beavers are about five bucks. So if I can keep from messing up a soft plastic, one, two, three a day, on a fishing day just by taking the hook in and out because when you start taking that big hook in and out of when you're flipping you're gonna mess the plastic up so if i can keep from messing the plastic up and saving myself on that in weeks and you know in no time i've already paid for these clips no questions asked so why not it's it's stupid simple it's easy and i use these on a whole lot more than just my punch rod I actually use these on uh, soft plastic rods and my spinning rods. And I'm going to show you, show you those. So let me, I'm going to pull one out. I think the white one would be easier just to show you. Um, if you see, there's this, this little piece right here. Um, that's where you can slide your line in or this little hole. That's where you slide your hook in. It's, it's simple. Hey guys, let me grab my rod right quick. Grab this one right quick. It is as simple as taking the clip, popping it on the rod. Now you've got protection. That's, that's, that's how simple this little accessory is to put on a rod. So let's talk about um, the, the rods I use when I'm going to show you why. So first off, a punch rod. Guys, if you follow the channel, one of my favorite things to do is punch it. I start punching in June on Gunnersville. I go from June pretty much till November. I'm gonna punch. If there's grass, I'm punching. I'm flipping, I'm punching, I'm pitching, whatever you wanna call it. And that's my go-to right there. A one ounce weight, fuzzy beaver, a straight shank hook. So when I'm fishing, and I'm banging my rod on, <coughs> on the ceiling, but when I'm fishing, I'm flipping and everything, when it's time to move to the next spot or I'm picking up another rod, all I do is just bring it down here, slide the braid right into the little thing, reel the weight up to the end, I'm ready to go. Pick up the next rod, whatever. So, and I know there's people gonna be, oh man, you can just put your, put your plastic right, right in there and reel it up. And yes, I've done it, but I've also made long trips and hit some weights and stuff and my 
that comes undone and now it's bouncing around the front deck, hitting stuff, tangling up. And then I've got a headache when I get to the next spot. So that's why these are so awesome because I just clip my little line in here and I don't have to worry about it no more, nothing. I can, when I get to the spot, it's sitting just like that on the deck. That's why it's so awesome. Um, another thing I see some guys reel it up to the tip, reel it up to their tip and just set it down on the deck. You're gonna mess up a tip. Big weights like that bouncing around, it's gonna mess a tip up. Again, save your rods. I mean, these rods aren't cheap, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, how much ever you're spending on rods, they're not cheap. A little clip, you know, $5 for a pack of these, and they save me money on plastics, and they save, save my rods. So, that's why I think you should get some, or get one. So that's my punch setup. That's the one that I use on every punching rod, and I will tell you that they pop off the punching rod, and I think it's the way I set hooks and stuff. So I always keep packs of these, so I can just put another one on uh, my punch rod. Make it so super simple. Next, the next great one to use it on is the one that I put it on earlier. Let me pop it off right quick. It's my drop shot rod. Guys, it, I mean, it keeps my drop shot weight down here. So my line's tight. And because I like to use basically text pose uh, my plastics like this, the, the hook's not uh, exposed. So I'm not pulling them in and out. If you're, if you're hooking your hook through the nose and you're having to like pull the hook out and hook it right here. I've seen, some, I've done it before. Hook the hook there. Now it's bouncing around. You got the weight bouncing around. It's tangling up everything. Uh, drives you crazy. You just want to be able to pick it up, go, go to work as soon as you get to the next spot. Hook, again, hook keeper is the bomb. Pull it out. Again, when you're done, put it back, you're ready to go. Um, and it keeps the line like right up against the rod. So it keeps less tangles. It's so awesome. Um, so that's my drop shot rod. I, this is mainly this right here. Doing this is awesome. Saves me money on my drop shot uh, little worms. Guys, if you're getting some of those gulp, uh, not gulp, Berkeley flatworms, how hard are they to find? Don't mess them up by pulling the hook in and out of them. It's so easy just to leave the hook in it, drop your weight right there, you're good to go. Next, next rod I like to use it on is my drop or uh, shaky head, right? Again, you spend all that time to get those hand poured worms or whatever super straight, everything, if you're using Cinco's. Boomer likes to use Senkos. If you're having to pull your Senko off, like the hook out of your Senko, when you're putting your rod down every time, you're gonna mess Senkos up. Senkos are, aren't expensive, because I know Boomer uses um, Yamamoto Senkos. He uses Yamamoto Senkos. They're not cheap, and they tear up super easy. So, a little clip like this, right? Keeps the plastic right there. The worm or this is a fu little fuzzy beaver stays in the in the in the jig the shake head jig you never have any problem when you're ready to go you just pull it out reel up the line make a cast super easy saves you some money again saves you some money you're not tangled up all that's another reason these little clips are awesome again can't say it enough um another one Another one, so when you're using the hook side, guys, uh, I like to throw little three inch swim baits on ball head jigs. Um, it's a Scott's Bow Tackle three inch and the Hellfire uh, ball heads. I don't have one on right now. I've got a little, little finesse jig by uh, Beast Coast. Been playing with it, trying to figure it out. But it's the same concept. <clears throat> when I take my, I'm not hooking my little three inch plastic of it or my little three three inch swim bait and jig head and that little hook so now the hook's kind of exposed and tangling up on stuff or catching it or i put my hand up there and i prick my finger you know anything can happen and just kind of mess up a day you take the little jig and see my little hook go right there in that little in the little hook hole boom now it's safe 
The hook's up in here, out of the way. You're not gonna poke your finger on it. It's easy, simple and easy. Pull it out, make your first pitch or whatever you're doing. Again, guys, super simple, easy. Um, I do it with my worm rods. I use it with my worm rods. Um, so my, I didn't grab one, I should have, but it's a, uh, my worm rod that I, I use my worm on. I also throw, um, what do you call them? Feather jig, uh, hair jigs. Using my hair jig, so hair jig, it'll just pop right there in a the little hole. Keeps it kinda out of the way. Worm, I'm not having to un undo the worm, put it in, uh, put in the hook keeper. I just slide my line down in there. Saves me money again, saves me money. In the long run, it saves me money. I spend 15 bucks and I save money by, sp by spending the $15. So, website is dd26fishing.com. Go check them out, they got some awesome products um, that, you know, that they fit little niches, uh, great things. They got a new uh, little spool caddy that you stick the spool to the side of your boat or stick it to the side of the boat, slide your spool down on it, and spool up real fast. Just cool little products like that. They got a little sticks that you can put in and they're different sizes and it helps to air your boat out. Awesome little product. So go check them out, dd26fishing.com. Again, I'm not affiliated with, affiliated with them. I just think they're awesome pro products and wanted to share them with you guys. These things are, are freaking awesome. You get three in a pack. Um, the small blue ones usually go on my uh, bluegill rods, uh, crappie rods, same thing. I can hook the hook in here, but I'm not worried about and wrap it around my, wrap the line around my rod. I'm not worried about anything tangling up, especially when you got a big bobber on there. We all have a bobber on there when we're bluegill fishing or something. Wrap it up. You're good to go. You're not messing anything up. Uh, the black one, use a lot of the black ones and the white ones. Uh, also, they're cool. Look I mean, it's blue, white, and, and black. They pretty much go with everything. So, looking good. Go check them out, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Got some awesome stuff coming. I got a tournament this weekend. Uh, so, next week, you'll get my practice footage. And probably the week after that, we'll get uh, the tournament footage and see how we do. I'm on some fish. Hopefully, I can, I can snag a win. So, if you haven't already, go down and hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment if you got any questions whatsoever. Uh, ding the bell so you know when uh, new videos are coming out. So um, with all that, guys, until next time, stay safe, tight lines, and we'll see you on the water.